Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to run the game Poke MMO on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. And this game is actually a native ARM application. So this means that it runs very well on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac as it makes use of a version of Java that has been optimized for the M1 chip. So this game is not officially sanctioned by the Pokemon company, but the way that it works is that we have to use ROMs in order to use the copyrighted Pokemon data. However, the game itself is not copyrighted by Pokemon. It is a completely separate project that doesn't use any of the assets from the Pokemon company. You have to use your own dumps of Pokemon ROMs from the game consoles in order to load up the graphics and game assets. And this is how they skirt the rules of the Pokemon copyright system. So today we're gonna to show you how to get this installed on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing. It just takes a moment to do and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming news. So the first thing we're going to do is to go to the pokemmo.eu website. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description. And then what we're going to need to do is to register for an account. So this is completely free. We're going to click register now. Here you're going to need to enter your username, email and password and confirm and then also complete the capture and then click the register button. So once you've registered, let's press the download button in order to download the software. So here we're going to click on the Mac icon here and then we're going to download the installer. So we're going to download this DMG file. So click on this now. And now this is going to start the download process. So once that's complete, we're going to go to Finder. Then we're going to click on the Downloads button here. Then we're going to double click on Poke MMO. So once that's open, we're going to click on Poke MMO and then drag it over to the Applications folder and then let go. So now we're going to go to Applications in Finder. I'm going to find Poke MMO and then double click. Here we're going to press the Open button. So now the game is downloading various assets and code. So now we're going to go ahead and press the Launch button here. And now this is loading up the game. So the way that Poke MMO works is that it doesn't actually contain any copyrighted game code. You actually have to supply the copyrighted material yourself. So you need to provide things like the black and white ROM, the fire red ROM, the emerald ROM, etc. And Poke MMO will extract the graphics, art, and sound from those particular ROM files and then plug them into the client file here. At the very minimum, we're going to need black and white ROM. So this is the DS game, and this is the only required one. The rest of them are optional graphics packs. So in order to find a copy of Pokemon black or white, the best thing to do is to get your own copy and then dump the ROM file yourself from a working Nintendo DS. However, it's also possible to find these ROMs online. All you need to do is a search like this into Google where you type in the keywords Pokemon black and white ROM, and then you're going to find lots of download links for this particular game. However, I'm not going to be able to show you the specific websites. However, if you do a search yourself, you might be able to find. Just be careful about files that you download from the internet and make sure you use trusted sources. So now I have all of the ROMs downloaded. I've got the NDS files here and I've also got the Game Boy Advance files here. So all we need to do now is to minimize this and we're gonna to go to our Poke MMO section here and we're basically gonna match up the black and white ROMs, click select file, go to our downloads folder and basically match them up. So we need to add Pokemon White NDS. Now we need to select Fire Red, Emerald ROM, Platinum, and also Heart Gold or Soul Silver. Press Choose. So now the last ROM has loaded up. We're going to press Close button here, and then we're going to press OK to restart the game. We're going to Finder again, and then we're going to go to Applications. And then we're going to double click on Poke MMO. And now I'm going to press Launch. And now all the models are being loaded into the game. So here we're just going to select the default. It doesn't really matter. And now we're going to enter our username and password that we just created. So once we've entered the security code, which is coming from email, we're going to go ahead and make sure we read this and then press the accept button. And now we're going to go ahead and log in. So here we're going to create a new character, give him a name and then press create character. Here I've selected my character and now we've logged into the game. So I can now control my character within the game and this is all working correctly. As you can see here, Poke MMO is a universal binary. So that means that it contains Intel as well as native ARM code. And as you can see here, it makes use of Java and this is the Apple kind. So this means that it's been optimized for the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So therefore this game is gonna run great on the M1 chip. So anyway, this is how you run Poke MMO on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. I've got lots of other tutorials like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.